Aww, animals. Lucky dog. Doctors in Canada used 3D printing technology to replace a dog's skull with titanium following major cancer surgery. A nine-year-old dachshund named Patches had a large tumor growing into her skull, pushing dangerously close to her brain and eye socket. Using an innovative new approach, University of Guelph researchers used rapid prototyping to print out a 3D model of Patches' head and tumor. This enabled veterinary surgeons to do a test run of the tumor removal and create a custom-fitted titanium plate to replace the parts of the skull that would be lost. Because of the technique, what would have been a lengthy surgery took only four hours, with Patches waking up just 30 minutes after the procedure. The procedure is believed to be the first of its kind in North America and marks an advancement in veterinary medicine that researchers say can also be useful in human medicine. Cats aren't the only ones with nine lives. The Kiss of Life This pooch nearly died in a house fire, but was promptly brought back from the brink thanks to one firefighter's mouth-to-snout rescue. After coming home to find her Santa Monica apartment burning, a 35-year-old woman frantically asked firefighters to help save her pet dog, who was still trapped inside. As the blaze was contained, firefighter Alex Klein grabbed the dog, who had no pulse and wasn't breathing. Klein quickly performed CPR on the pup and gave him oxygen through a special mask. It took 20 minutes, but the lucky dog eventually came back to the land of the living. No other pets or humans were injured in the fire. The pup was transferred to a local animal hospital, but is now back on his paws, even swinging by the station to personally say thanks. Baby elephant rescued after tumbling down storm drain. Some positive animal news today after a baby elephant was rescued at the weekend in Sri Lanka after taking quite the nasty fall. The calf fell down an open storm drain at some point while walking near the town of Hambatota. After falling, the animal reportedly broke one of its legs. Ouch! Elephant herds are common in the area and roam freely, but this poor thing was just plain unlucky. Locals used sledgehammers and even a blowtorch at one point to help get the little guy out. Working with rescuers, they tied ropes around the calf's legs, then he hoed it out of the hole. Footage from Sri Lankan television shows the moment rescuers managed to free the animal. Elephant calves usually weigh over 90 kilos. That's 200 pounds. So you can bet these guys really had to put their back into it. Afterward, the animal was taken to hospital and treated for its injuries. Nice to have some good news for a change, yeah? Raccoon rescued after getting stuck in a sewer grate. Ah, uh, living the American dream. Shopping, shooting, and who can forget? Eating. The U.S. has gotten so gargantuan that even our animals are fat. Last week, the Zion City Police Department received a call about an animal in distress. Apparently, the raccoon, which we'll call Fats, has been living the life. Unfortunately, Fats hasn't hit the gym lately, so has put on some pounds. And that's why when Fats was trying to get out of the sewer the other day, he got stuck. Officers were first on the scene and were unable to get Fats free, so they had to call in some public works guys to get the job done. Maybe it's all the gluten in Fats' diet. Firefighters going above and beyond. A heartwarming video posted on Facebook shows a group of firefighters in California resuscitating a dog after rescuing it from a house fire last Wednesday, no doubt helping restore at least a few cynics' faith in humanity. While responding to a house fire in Bakersfield, firefighters managed to rescue a dog named Jack from the burning home. However, Jack was unresponsive and could only take shallow breaths due to the amount of smoke he inhaled from being trapped in the blazing building. Bakersfield firefighters then tried using a specialized animal mask to pump the poor canine full of oxygen. Their persistence paid off, and after a few moments and a good old-fashioned back rub, the firefighters managed to bring Jack back from the brink of death. Hooray! Jack was later taken to Bakersfield Veterinary Hospital, where doctors treated respiratory tract injuries and burns to his feet. Jack later reunited with his owner and one of the heroes who rescued him. The video, posted on the Bakersfield Fire Department's Facebook page, has been viewed close to a million times and garnered over 13,000 shares worldwide. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, and Jack's family will be staying at a nearby hotel until they can figure out their next move. Hey, 
has been giving them birds alcohol. Britain's Animal Service recently rescued a number of seagulls on English beaches after they appear to have gotten into a little alcohol, causing them to go a little cuckoo. Britain's Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals said someone called them about over a dozen seagulls that were seen walking around on the beach like they were a bunch of drunkards. The RSPCA staff said the birds at first looked like they had botulism, and most seemed to recover after vomiting. Meanwhile, the vans they used to collect the birds now smell like pubs. Ah, fun times. The RSPCA suspect that a brewery or other alcohol distributor in the nearby area did not handle their alcohol waste properly and the birds somehow gained access to the alcohol being dumped out. A veterinarian with the animal welfare charity told Sky News a few of the seagulls have died after showing symptoms of intoxication, but many are recovering. Just like a drunk person, they need time to let the effects wear off before they're back to normal again. Pet owner breathes new life into his dying tortoise. What do you do when a pet is dying? Well, one pet owner in Gloucestershire, England, revived his drowning tortoise by giving the animal CPR for an hour. Pet owner John Fletcher was left shell-shocked when he found his 45-year-old tortoise, Freda, drowning in his garden pond on August 14th. Not ready to say goodbye to his beloved pet, Fletcher tried to revive Freda by giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR and stretching her head out a little. After a while, the pet owner saw water coming out of Freda's mouth and her legs began to twitch. He then used a hairdryer to warm Freda up and massaged her legs and back. Fletcher massaged Freda's chest repeatedly for an hour, and finally, the tortoise began gasping for air, then opened her eyes to let her owner know she was alive. After being saved, Freda is now back to her normal routine, strolling around and, you know, just uh, generally uh, looking at things. Only now, she'll be staring at a fence around the pond that Fletcher put up to protect her. According to a reptile store in the UK, tortoises can only float on water for a short amount of time. So peeps, uh, keep an eye on your little friends.